Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. Listen to this figure. On average, 300 pounds of prohibited items are turned over to the TSA every month at Epley Airfield. And that's bound to go up as we approach the peak of holiday travel. But it doesn't have to if you pay attention. Our Joe Chioto got the behind the scenes look at what is found. Each day, about 5,500 people fly out of Epley Airfield. And no matter where they're heading, St. Louis. Ah, uh, Fort Lauderdale. The first stop is security. Seems simple for most, what's allowed and what's not, especially for frequent flyers like Daniel Galvis. It's very obvious. But Shannon Henderson... No, no not um, usually. ...rarely gets on a plane. So what her family checks and what they carry on takes some thought, especially around the holidays. I mean, I have a sense, but not 100%. Turns out a lot of people are on that same page. From these bowling pins to cologne-shaped as a grenade, and check out these very comfortable looking shoes. TSA finds it all at the security gates. And with the holidays comes increased travel and an increase in these overturned items. Wrenches, knives, even these power tools, all forfeited in the last three months by travelers who didn't understand the rules. During December, they see a lot of snow globes, wine bottles, and liquids, all of which aren't allowed. And when it comes to packing gifts, well, how do you handle that? No, I wouldn't. I guess I put them, I have no clue. I don't think you can wrap them. Oh no. Actually, you can, but TSA can then unwrap them and ask you to turn them over if there's reason for concern, which is why if you have a lot. One bag that's full of gifts, you know, and two bags, regular stuff. It's best to just check those in the plane's belly, which is making Daniel's trip through security a breeze and his trip to Fort Lauderdale. Happy holidays to everybody. All the more enjoyable. And John and Mallory, we are live right now, right outside the security gates right here at Epley. And you heard me mention that it's not smart to bring those wrapped to gifts through security because TSA might need to see what's inside and then unwrap your entire gift. They say it's a much better idea to just wrap those when you get to your final destination or what they suggested today, simply use the gift bag and tissue paper. That way, if TSA does need to see what's inside, they can get into it easily. Reporting live with photographer Jim Hinchick, Joe Chioto, WWT6 News. I always use the gift bag regardless of where I am. <laughs> you just buy gift cards. You don't even bother wrapping. <laughs> well, that's, that's even easier. But some of those items that are prohibited, they're obvious mm -hmm. like guns and large knives. And just a few weeks ago, we showed you this sword. It was confiscated at Epley Airfield. This was hidden in a walking cane. When items like this are found, police get involved and they investigate whether to pursue criminal charges. Even if not, you will likely face some sort of fine from the TSA. The fine for a gun ranges from $3,000 to $11,000.